And again, man, welcome back. You're still watching uh, Nile Cruz and uh, the Model European Union and Ain Shams University is a non-profit student-run organization based in Faculty of Law, Ain Shams University. Uh, the MEU, Ain Shams, is a youth-to-youth -youth organization. The idea of founding the first simulation model for uh, the EU and Ain Shams University started by a group of youth with different experiences in simula simulation models uh, who realized the importance of simulation models in increasing the awareness of youth and allowing them to play a more active role and a positive role. Uh, to be speaking more about the, uh, uh, the model of the European Union, we're joined with members uh, of this model in Ain Shams University. We're joined with uh, Min Abdul Razak and Salma Yasser. I'd like to thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning, Salma and Minna. Now, who's morning. Salma and who's Minna in the beginning? I'm Salma. Salma <laughs> and Minna. Uh, hi, girls. Now, uh, I would like to uh, start with you. How and why did you uh, decide to join uh, the MEU in Inchams University? Sorry. Okay. Um, at first, I was a first year student at the Faculty of Law English uh, section. I didn't know anything about student activities at first, and then when I saw MEU, I was impressed by what they uh, provide uh, for the students and then I uh, first year I applied as public relations member and I learned a lot uh, whether from the, the technicals of the committee as PR or the soft skills and then the second year I applied as HR specialist and this year uh, uh, head of HR deputy. Very good. Um, what about my you? My sister then? was head of the organization committee at Model of European Union uh, and I saw her and the progress that she gained in the, in the much of learn, uh, how much she learned about it. So after that, I, I, when I started my first year at college, I wanted to join and to get that experience that she got. So okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So if, if we speak about uh, the uh, experience, uh, Salma, uh, from the perspective of what you're trying to achieve uh, from uh, the model of the European Union. Okay. Um, actually, what's the most important thing is uh, preparing the college students for their career life after the university phase. Uh, most important is that we provide them with soft skills. Uh, no student in the university knows like the negotiation skills, the communication presentation skills, until after they, they're faced with their careers mm -hmm. as the job. So uh, we help them in this process. Uh, and for the specific committees as public relations, fundraising, coordination, external affairs and multimedia, it's uh, specialized in each, uh, in each committee with their job, what they do and the technicals of this. Can you explain more about those committees, different committees, uh, Minna? Okay. <laughs> uh, well, we have fundraising. It, uh, is, uh, it discusses uh, how to collect money. It's money maker. Got money to, to, do the, to do all the materials we do in the, in the model. Mm -hmm. uh, then we've got external affairs uh, that uh, works with the embassy and maintaining a good relation with the European Union delegation to Egypt. Uh, we have um, coordination uh, responsible for the material like the booth phase, uh, the booth, and the info desk and the t-shirts and the all the logistics that yeah, we good. use. You also mentioned the multimedia. Multimedia, it's uh, responsible for uh, the photo and the IDs and the designs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the videos, videos and the social media campaigns paint. and everything, the related social media. Okay. Very good. Uh, do you um, guys coordinate? with the students from around the world who have similar models? Yes, oh. yes, we, we're, uh, we are trying to get uh, foreign delegates to attend our sessions and the conference at the end of the year and we're actually working on it and last year uh, a student from uh, another country came and attended our conference. Okay. Very good, and uh, speaking about the campaigns, did you hold any, any type of uh, campaigns yet? Yes, we are, uh, uh, we have a charity campaign with Dr. Magda Uppsar Foundation for two years in a row and we uh, have uh, the awareness campaign, it was with the... Uh, Foundation uh, the, Yes. yes. Okay. Can you explain more about those campaigns, you know, what they aim? They aim for collecting donations for uh, the first year, the first year it was the MU16, 2016. Dr. Anissa Hassoun attended our opening ceremony and she talked about how we're helping with the donations and everything to the charity. And the awareness campaign was actually, was actually just spreading awareness with no donations in it. Okay. Minna, what are the EU institutions that you uh, simulate? We've got the, uh, the academic committees. Uh, they are divided into three councils, European Parliament, uh, which discuss uh, parallel education and Europe 2020 strategy. Uh, we've got the European Investment Bank. It discusses uh, Iran and Co Gulf Cooperation Council. Mm -hmm. And we've got Court of Human Rights, which is a French council. 
we're discussing it uh, uh, that humans are not, uh, are not uh, for sale. Mm. Uh, they have rights and we need to fight for their rights. Okay. So it, it, uh, it different with, it is, uh, they gain experience from which council they choose in the, in the, in the need that they get. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, Salman is a student of law, English section. What about you, Inna? Same, I'm the same. <laughs> yes. Okay, it, it, does your type of study uh, reflect on, on your participation uh, in, in the EU model or it's irrelevant? Um, for us in the organizing committee, it's focusing more on the soft skills, and uh, but for the academic committee, it's, it's related more to politics and international organizations. So it's more related to faculty of law students or political sciences, but uh, somehow it helps. Yes. It's, I'm not going to say like I didn't get anything or it's irrelevant, no, but it, it's helpful mm -hmm. okay. during the presentation or presenting in a court or anything after I graduate. Uh -huh. So it's going to help, <laughs> I know that. Yes, that's for sure. And uh, what about, you know, the experience from the European Union aspect, you know, uh, the cultural differences? What have you learned from that side? Uh, uh, the cultural differences, uh, it opened my eye to like the actual uh, councils that they have in the European Union, whether the European Parliament, the European Investment Bank. I didn't know these things at first, I didn't know what subjects they were talking about, so I definitely learned a lot and gained more knowledge about from the academic side. Okay. Have you been following up uh, the activities between Egypt and uh, EU institutions and trying to discuss this in your sessions? I don't, I don't understand the question. Did you, did you, uh, did you uh, follow up or were you trying to follow up uh, the, the, the recent developments tackled by the European Union uh, and Egypt stands in this regard and try to simulate what were the topics discussed for it. We have the council, it's Euro Mediterranean Council, it's mm. simulation in Arabic and Egypt is a participant in this council. So uh, we simulated in Arabic, this is the only council we simulated in Arabic because we have English and we have French uh, as well. Okay. Very good. So, uh, what, what were the topics that you discussed? Um, last year was the, for the Syrian refugees. Okay. Uh, it, was a, it was a really important topic uh, in the Mediterranean Council. Uh, we have also the, the women rights uh, as well. It was a topic discussed in this council. Yes. Really interested to know more about you know, the atmosphere and learning inside the model of the European Union. Uh, you, you as students, from both of you, you can share your experience. How is it going inside, you know, the learning, the interaction with other students, you know? You're laughing, you probably have a lot, <laughs> lot of good stories. Yes, well, I entered the model in a, in a part of my life that I was uh, demonstrative. And actually, it cheers me up and just raised my spirits a lot up. And I felt so good. I gained a lot of experience by just doing stuff that I didn't know that I'm a capable of doing yes. until I joined. Uh, I found that I can actually achieve the unachievable by, by trying one trying hundreds of times, not just one or two and just, okay, I didn't do it, so fine, no, I just yeah, do it more and more and more until I get it. I, I felt powerful after I joined, 100% sure. I gained more confident for before and after, so it's like, before I was like so shy, I can't talk in public a lot. I was like, no, keep me outside, uh, but now... Now you're on air. Yes. So uh, <laughs> that, that's a huge difference. Yes. So what about the other atmosphere, you know, the students, their interaction together? They are interaction very... They love getting the knowledge from each other, so we're not that big. I mean, I'm 18 years old, and now I'm head of external affairs committee, and I have members. And learning from same age is much more more fun, and much I give, I give them the message 100 percent better than someone who's 80 or 90 years old. So we're we're connecting and we're acting so good together. Yes, uh, some of you want to add your experience? Um, it was exactly, it affects the confidence, like I gained more confidence uh, when I entered the model. I, uh, I found myself able to do stuff that I didn't think that I was able to do. Uh, now I'm head of HR, like responsible for HR specialists or responsible for members under them for the development phase and uh, the plan and the trainings, as well as the meetings, the tasks, the deadlines, those like terminologies, I wouldn't be aware of them until after I graduate. So this is really Very good. Point. Very good. Very good. Uh, Wilmin Abdelreze and Salma Yasser Farou, uh, both members of the model of European Union and Schumann University. Thank you very much for coming Thank and wish you best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move now to the upcoming story and returning back from